Nixon, meanwhile, was, was taking on the civil rights portfolio of the administration. He had, Dulles had sent him to, to, to uh, the Gold Coast, which became Ghana for their independence uh, ceremonies. And that's where he met Martin Luther King Jr. And they began, they, 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 hit, they hit it off. And King had been trying to see Nixon anyway. And, uh, and they hit it off. And Nixon said, come, let's come meet me in Washington. We'll come to my office. And they, they, had, they, had, a, they had like a long, long session together. They, they began to, they, they wrote to each other. They stayed in touch. Um, and, you know, and, King, and King was very, 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 very impressed by Nixon. And, uh, and, uh, and Nixon, in the summer of 57, uh, uh, a couple of months after the trip, the, the, uh, the uh, administration supported what, what, what at the time was a landmark civil rights bill. And uh, Nixon, Nixon took, the, took the administration's uh, view. Um, John, um, uh, Sam Rayburn and Lyndon Johnson are given credit for getting the bill passed. And, of course, they, they, they did because they were in Congress. But the bill was a weaker bill than the administration wanted. There was a particular provision, the, the voting rights section of the bill, and this gets very complicated, but basically um, Johnson, Johnson was playing all kinds of, by this time he, was, he, he, want, he, he sort of he was, saw himself running for president. He had to appeal to the northern liberal Democrats and also, but he didn't want to lose his, the southern conservatives like Richard Russell. And the, the voting rights section would, would say that yes, um, a, um, if any violation of voting rights would then be subject to a jury trial, and everyone knew this was ridiculous. A jury trial of the South on a voting, voting rights act was, 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 like, was like an instant nullification. And thanks to the administration, the Eisenhower administration, and Nixon carried it through, they, they, they made it a slightly stronger, slightly stronger uh, bill, and it said that the, a judge could impose um, a fine and, and some jail time for any violation of this, of this voting rights thing. And, and Nixon got huge thanks from, uh, from, from Dr. King, from Jackie Robinson, who, had, who, was, a friend, who, had, who was actually a friend of his and had been, been a supporter and a friend of his since the 1952 convention when Nixon saw, saw him in the corridor and said, I remember, I remember when you were playing football at UCLA on Never Forget a, a Play You Made, and that really impressed Jackie Robinson. And, it was, uh, and Nixon was a, really, a real sports fan. So, and then, and then uh, 1960 began to, began, began to approach, and, um, and probably the most devastating thing Eisenhower ever said about him was, was, um, was in, the, uh, in late summer of 1960. Um, someone, someone had asked Eisenhower, uh, by, by, the way, this time Nixon, by this time Nixon was speaking of the Eisenhower-Nixon administration, which really annoyed Eisenhower, because, um, and, uh, and, uh, and someone asked him, well, can you think of one major contribution that, 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 that Vice President Nixon has made to your administration. And Eisenhower said, if you give me a week, I might think of one. And, and he, it was devastating to Nixon. I mean, and he, Eisenhower claimed he didn't mean it, it came out wrong, he was being facetious. And, but it never, it never, never went away. And, you know, it, Kennedy used it against him in the campaign. Um, the reporters, of course, who were all in love with Kennedy used, used it, kept, it managed, managed to repeat it. And, and it, it was devastating. And the most devastating thing of all for Nixon, by the way, was, a, was an act of cowardice. When Dr. When Dr. King was arrested on a totally trumped-up charge um, and, and put in a paddy wagon and, and chains to be taken to Reesville Prison in Georgia, Coretta Scott King called both campaigns, the Kennedy campaign and the Nixon campaign, said, would you please help get him out? You know, there was a, the, the violence against um, African Americans in the South in Georgia at that time was horrible. And, and she really thought he was going to be killed. And Kennedy, uh, the Kennedy people stepped up, and Nixon's, Nixon told his advisors that well, that would just be grandstanding to interfere with the legal process. And King, it, that was it. King later said he had a, you know, we were in touch. We were, I thought we were friends. Um, and and, and, and it, he was, it showed a real moral, a real moral lapse. And, uh, and, if, and if Nixon had done it, um, Kennedy was sent, by the way, the Kennedy people sent out a, a, a campaign uh, flyer that said, uh, 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 um, no comment. Nixon versus the candidate with a heart, <laughs> and that, and that, and that, and and if if Nixon had carried the black vote, and he by the way he still got 32 percent of the black vote, unlike today when they, when, they, when Republicans get like two percent of the black vote, but uh, he would have won. He would have won. Probably would have won at least at least two more states, and and everything would have changed. And, uh...